these first questions always seem to find a way to have two ways to go about it. I'm going to show you the way that your teacher would be proud of, and then I got a fun way right after that. So 5x plus 6 equals 10, and they want us to figure out what this equals. Well, first we can get x by itself here and solve by plugging it back into this equation. So then we end up with 5x equals 4, because we would subtract 6 from both sides. And then we see that uh, x would equal 4 over 5. And then we plug that now in for x here. As we rewrite that, we see that 10 times 4 over 5 plus 3. What would that equal? Well, then this just becomes a fraction. So it's now 10 over 1. So that way it's still 10. And you end up with 40 over 5 plus 3. Well, 40 divided by 5 is going to be 8. 8 plus 3 equals 11 and that gives us the answer c alternatively whenever we see that they're not asking exactly what x is but they're asking for like a different version of what they originally gave you you can ask yourself what can i do to make this look like that and how will that change my answer well let's what i mean by that is we have 5x plus 6 equals 10 and we want it to make it look like 10x plus 3 or at least this part we do well i know that if i double this I'll get 10x plus 12. So at least that takes care of the 10x, and then that would equal 20. And what I see is that, well, the difference between 12 and 3 is going to be what? That's uh, 7, 8, 9. So that's a difference of 9. So if you notice, if 12 at 10x plus 12 equals 20, then 10x plus 3, which is only 9 less, would be 11. And that gives us C.